Hey y'all, it's Coach K and I want to welcome you to episode 37 of the Stimulus Package. Today we're talking about believing in God's plan. Alright, so with the new year starting, I know that everybody is really out here just making vision boards and setting out their goals and like writing everything down, but I just want to make sure that we make it a point to stop and ask God what he wants for our life and like how he wants us to move. The good thing about being connected to the kingdom of God is that God will give us visions. He will give us like um, confirmation through other people. It just depends on the person. And I think it's amazing how he just always finds the perfect way to speak or the perfect avenue to go down to help us understand what we need to do moving forward. But with that being said, I also understand that when he does speak, everybody doesn't always listen. Sometimes the vision is so big or so vivid that it scares us. And I had to ask myself, why does that happen? Like, why do we get so terrified when we see the plan that God has for our life, especially if he's allowing us to see it? Um, and then I came to the conclusion that it's because we either feel like we're not worthy of that gesture or we're not, or we're not in the space where we can fulfill it at that moment. And I think that that scares a lot of people. So this week, I want to encourage you and I want to let you know that you're exactly where you're supposed to be. And in the space that you're in, God is developing you and helping you to get to the space where you can handle the responsibility of that promise or of that vision. But we also have a responsibility to prepare while we're in the waiting phase and make sure that we are doing everything that we can to enhance our thoughts, enhance our intelligence, enhance our skill set so that we can be prepared for the moment when it comes. So I want to ask y'all, think about it. Whenever God speaks to you, do you believe it? Do you believe it as soon as he says it or do you have hesitation? And if you have hesitation when it comes to the things that he's showing you, I need you to ask yourself why and try to understand what it is that's blocking you from fully embracing what God is telling you. He hasn't lied to you. He has fulfilled every promise thus far. He has sustained you through it all. He has given you gifts and um, opportunities that you didn't deserve and that you didn't even see coming. And he's just really had, he has really helped you like lay the foundation throughout all of your experiences. So knowing that he has helped you do all of those things and he's given you the opportunity to like flourish why would he change his mo now why would the equation change i want y'all to really think about that why would he show you something that he wouldn't give you the power to fulfill yeah this year is gonna be crazy 2021 is a whole restoration year at this point we went through a lot in 2020 but it's time for us to also take responsibility for our part and make sure that we're doing everything we can to bring the vision to reality, like from potential to reality. Well, the vision should be something that fuels us and helps us to have faith that we can do it and have faith that God trusts us with this level of responsibility. Like, wow. Whenever God gives you a vision, he will also give you guidelines and steps um, to how to get to those goals, but you have to always put yourself in a position to hear him. He grants you gifts that will create space for you. He also puts your name in rooms that you haven't even stepped in yet. So I just want y'all to, I just want y'all to know that God's plan will prevail with or without you. And whenever he shows you the vision, I want y'all to stop worrying about all the things or the circumstances that are in your way and the reasons why you can do it. And instead, I want you to focus on just believing him without hesitation and moving in that. Because eventually he's going to show you what you need to do. He's gonna show you how to do it. And he's gonna give you the power and the strength to do it. But you have to trust him, you have to believe him, and you have to have faith that it can happen and you will see it. So you have to have faith that it will happen. All right, y'all, until next time, stay focused, keep grinding, and respect the process. I'm Coach K. Follow us on all of our social media platforms at Level 27 Coaching, and be sure to subscribe to our website at www.level27coaching.com. All right, love y'all. Have a great week, and remember, everything that he's showing you and asking you to create 
is low-key helping someone else become the person that he's called them to be. Your obedience is so important. And someone is waiting on the byproduct of your obedience. All right, y'all be blessed. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.